O Lord, to those who wait for you, that your prophets be found true, hear the prayers of your servant and of your people Israel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good evening, and very welcome to the Holy Eucharist Vigil Mass. <clears throat> and we thank God for all the blessings that we have received. And we pray for our needs, our family, and of our friends. We pray for all those who are sick. We pray for our boys and girls, our schools. And also we pray for our young people, those who are waiting for their university studies. As we prepare for Mass this evening, if we have any failures, we feel sorry about our sins and we ask the Lord's forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord of mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ of mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord of mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you are the Most High, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Mass intentions this evening are for we remember them on their anniversaries. We pray for Mary Sherlock, Michael Dryan, Edward Abbotton, Andy Holland, Theresa Fitzpatrick. We pray for the departed souls. We pray to have eternal happiness for the beloved ones. We also pray to bless the intentions of the family members, praying for their departed ones. And we have a death notice of Pat and Mary O'Connell, their husband and wife, from St. James Street. And it was announced at the funeral mass on Monday at uh, 11, but after their Mary's death also occurred, so the funeral mass is on Monday at 12 noon. 
So we pray for Pat and Mary. Let us pray. Look upon us, O Lord, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, you are who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The first reading, <clears throat> a reading from the prophet Isaiah. The Lord has opened my ear. For my part, I made no resistance, neither did I turn away. I offered my back to those who struck me, my cheeks to those who tore at my beard. I did not cover my face against insult and spittle. The Lord comes to my help so that I am untouched by the insults. So too, I set my face like flint. I know I shall not be shamed. My vindicator is here at hand. Does anyone start proceedings against me? <clears throat> then let us go to court together. Who thinks he has a case against me? Let him approach me. The Lord is coming to my help. Who dare condemn me? The word of the Lord. Second reading, a reading from the letter of St. James. Take the case, my brothers, of someone who has never done a single good act but claims that he has faith. Will that faith save him? If one of the brothers or one of the sisters is in need of clothes and has not enough food to live on, and one of you says to them, I wish you well, keep yourself warm and eat plenty, without giving them these bare necessities of life, then what good is that? Faith is like that. If good works do not go with it, it is quite dead. This is the way to talk to people of that kind. You say you have faith and I have good deeds. I will prove to you that I have faith by showing you my good deeds. Now you prove to me that you have faith without any good deeds to show. The word of the Lord. The Gospel and Acclamation. truth and the life, says the Lord. No one can come to the Father except through me. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus and his disciples left for the villages around Caesarea Philippi. On the way, he put this question to his disciples, who do people say I am? And they told him, John the Baptist. They said, are this Elijah? Are this again one of the prophets? 
But you, he asked, who do you say I am? Peter spoke up and said to him, you are the Christ. And he gave them strict orders not to tell anyone about him. And he began to teach them that the Son of Man was destined to suffer grievously, to be rejected by the elders and the three priests and the scribes, and to be put to death, and after three days to rise again. And he said all this quite openly. Then, taking him aside, Peter started to remonstrate with him. But turning and seeing this, his, his disciples, he rebuked Peter and said to him, Get behind me, Satan, because the way you think is not God's way, but man's. He called the people and his disciples to him and said, If anyone wants to be a follower of mine, let him renounce himself and take up his cross and follow me. For anyone who wants to save his life will lose it, but anyone who loses his life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Dear loving brothers and sisters in Christ, today's Gospel explains the basis of our faith as our acceptance of Jesus as the Christ. It also tells us that Christ Jesus suffered, died, and rose again to become our Savior. Finally, it outlines the three conditions of Christian discipleship, discipleship, namely denying oneself, taking up one's cross, and following Jesus. Today's gospel consists of two sections. The Messianic Confession of Peter, who acknowledged Jesus as the Christ, Messiah, the Son of the Living God. And second, Jesus' prediction of his passion, death, and resurrection, followed by Jesus' clear teaching on the three conditions of Christian discipleship. Whoever wishes to come after me, we must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Like Peter, the knowledge of Jesus as Lord and personal Savior needs to become a living, personal experience for each Christian, drawing each of us to loving response. In the Eucharist celebrations today, we are celebrating and experiencing in our lives the death and resurrection of Christ, the Messiah, our Lord, and our personal Savior. The next step is the surrender of our lives to Jesus. The final step is to praise and thank God in all the events of our lives, good or bad, realizing that God's love shapes every event of our lives. Jesus reveals who God really is and what God is about a gentle, non-violent, compassionate, suffering Messiah. After healing a blind person, Jesus asked that central question, who do people say I am? That's the same question for each one of us here today. Who do you say I am? Peter, inspired by the Holy Spirit, replies, You are the Christ, the Messiah. Jesus tells Peter very clearly that God is a God of unconditional love and that true love involves suffering because love is more concerned with the other's happiness 
than with one's own. True discipleship is seen when we are faithful to God in times of suffering. Jesus clearly shows what if we are to accept, that we, we are to accept him as our Lord. We must accept his way of suffering whenever it comes in our life. So following Jesus involves commitment and determination. We know that it's not that easy, but if you depend upon the grace, everything is possible. God is always with us to strengthen us and give us courage during these difficult times. So when we face, when we go through the suffering, what is our response? Are we holding the hands of God to go through these difficult times? Or we step down? There comes the question, what is the true faith? Always remember, whatever suffering, whatever pain we are going through, there is God to support us, to strengthen us, and to save us. A brief prayer. Lord, help us not to be seeking a God of the extraordinary, but help us see you revealing yourself to us still in the goodness. The suffering of others in daily life situations help us to be instruments of your love to those in any type of need. Thank God for everything. Pray to God to survive in the difficult times and pray for the grace to accept, to go through the sufferings that we are undergoing. God bless us. God bless all our intentions today. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was the beginning, is now and ever shall be, to the world without end. Amen. Now let's stand to profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For as men are for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified in Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life who proceeds from the Father and Son, who with Father and Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of all to come. Amen. We bring our needs before the Lord who always hears our cries. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, that he may have health, strength, and wisdom to lead the church. Lord, hear us. We pray for those with power, wealth, and influence, that they may use these gifts of God to share with others. Lord, hear us. We pray for farmers 
and for all who live and work on the land. Lord, hear us. We pray for those who serve our parish community through their regular involvement in committee or pastoral work and prayer service. Lord, hear us. We pray for those who bear a heavy cross of sickness or grief that they may find healing and comfort. Lord, hear us. We pray that our beloved dead, our family members, we are praying today. Once again, we remember and pray for Mary Sherlock, Michael Lorraine, Edward Aberton, Andy Holland, Teresa Fitzpatrick, and also we pray for Pat and Mary O'Connell. And we pray for eternal happiness and all the heavenly blessings, blessings for them. Lord, hear us. Brothers and sisters, this was a moment in silence to put before Jesus our own needs for blessings. God of compassion, hear our prayers and help us to carry our cross when it, is, it weighs us down. We make these and all our prayers in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall not hunger. He who believes in me shall not thirst. No one can come to me unless the Father calls him. And I will raise him up. And I will raise him up. And I will raise him up on the brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Hands for the praise and glory of his name, for glory of his holy church. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these, your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. <clears throat> it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashion for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
make holy therefore these is you pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and tempted willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you <clears throat> in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim your death o lord and profess your resurrection until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread through all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope brent and our bishop martin our retired bishop and all the clergy remember your servants whom you are called from this world to yourself grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, his spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. In the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but to deliver us from evil to deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus Christ who sit you apostle peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the risen lord be with you always let's offer each other the sign of peace peace be with you May this kneeling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us. Receive it, Lamb of God. You take away sin, so the world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away sin, so the world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away sin, so the world grant us peace. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, can not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. 
Behold the Lamb of God, beholding who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who go to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. of Christ. body of Christ.
your presence on holy ground. Let's pray to Jesus to bless our intentions and also pray to bless all those who are praying for their beloved ones. So we pray to bless those who are joining Mass online through the screens. And we adore Jesus present in the Eucharist. O sacrament, most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. How precious is your mercy, O God! The children of men seek shelter in the shadow of your wings. Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies, so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thank you all for joining Mass this evening and thanks for your support and cooperation and also for the service to the church. And wish you a blessed weekend and happy uh, Sunday, also blessed Sunday. God bless you. Thank you. Let's all join together in communion, sweet. Walk, walk in the light and love one another till the same.